administration. Spill. 33 million. 33 million. That's the number of Canadians who had their mobility data secretly tracked by the Public Health Agency of Canada wow. without their consent. Yay. This Paul. unprecedented level of surveillance on our citizens came to light when the Liberals not only admitted that they did it, but planned on continued spying on Canadians for another five years. Protecting the privacy of Canadians is the foundation of our freedoms, and sadly, under these Liberals, the foundations of our democracy are crumbling when this type of massive overreach happens. My question is a simple one. Who authorized the secret spying on Canadians? The Honourable Minister of Health. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je suis tout à fait d'accord avec mon collègue. Il fait très... Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I agree with my colleague. We need to protect people's privacy. And I believe my colleague also believes that we need to protect people's health and safety. And we are doing that together. We are working with the Privacy Commissioner to ensure that the methods used are appropriate when it comes to ensuring that the data used is anonymized and is being used to protect people's health and safety as well as their privacy. Very Innisfil. <laughs> Instead of being focused on normalizing lockdowns, maybe the Liberals should have been focused on keeping our economy open. When you start connecting the dots, you see a pattern of massive overreach by these Liberals. They tried to seize control of Parliament at the beginning of the pandemic to completely control spending and taxing. They got caught secretly collecting banking data and attempted to limit speech and what Canadians can see on the Internet. And now this. This pattern of control is only seen in countries that many Canadians have fled from. How could anyone think that secretly gathering this data without the consent of Canadians was a good idea? The Honourable Minister of Health. Merci, Monsieur le Président. J'ai déjà répondu à la question et je... Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I've already answered the question. I'd like to thank him for it. Not only do we do things well in our country in terms of keeping the trust of Canadians and reassuring and protecting our economy and protecting people. For example, in Canada, we have an economy that is clearly superior to those in other countries elsewhere who have also experienced COVID. But I'd also like to add, because we work together with science, we have the mortality rate that is the lowest, lowest in the G7. For Skeena Bulkley 